Hello and welcome to this lecture and in this lecture we are going to learn about the significance of these files present here in the books folder. So the first thing which I would like to point out even before starting the explanation of all these things is that if you actually have a basic understanding of what a website is you might already know that if you have a high level look at any website a website actually consists of two major parts so the first part of your website is the user interface and that user interface is nothing but what you are able to view as a user on your screen so the user interface of any website consists of the HTML code which actually displays you the content on your web page so your web page might contain an image it might contain some text it might contain some buttons also it might contain some forms so this was the front end or the user interface of your website and now the next and the most crucial part is nothing but the back end or the database so the database is actually a quite interesting part because all the data of your website is going to be stored in the database. So we could divide the website into two parts that is the front end and the back end. So the back end contains the database and the front end contains the layout or the design of your web page. So what Django actually does is that uh, Django makes it a lot simpler to use databases at the back end. So what Django does is that Django also divides these things that is the front end and back end into two parts. So in this lecture we will be discussing about the two files. One is the models.py and the next one is the views.py. So what this views.py file does is that this file actually contains the code which determines what the user is able to see at the front end. So right now we don't have any code in this file because we have created this app uh, as a brand new app and henceforth we don't have any code. So the views.py is going to contain the code which will basically decide what the user views. So by the name you could correlate that view and views. So it actually determines what the customer or what the user is going to view. So that's all about the views.py file. So this was the simple explanation of it. And I hope you guys understood the significance of views.py. Now let's move on to the next file, which is models.py. So as you could see, still the models.py file is empty. And what this models.py file allows you to do is that it allows you to create databases or database tables so that your website can hold up data which is required for your website to run. Now, as we are developing a book related website, what we need to do is that we need to store a bunch of information about books such as the book name, its price, its author, the type of book or the category of the book and that entire thing or that entire data is actually going to be stored into the database. So even before we save anything into the database, we actually need to define the structure of your database. So that is what we do in this models.py file. That is we define the structure of our database. So we are done with the views.py and the models.py file. And now the remaining files are in it.py admin apps and tests. So these files are kind of important, but the views and models were the extremely important files. And also uh, the urls.py file, as you could see, there is no urls file present over here, but we are going to make a urls.py file here as well. And the significance of this urls.py file is that it contains the URL patterns, which is going to match up with the URL, which you are going to enter on your web page. So, if you open up your web browser and if you type in uh, facebook.com as you could see you will have a slash here and you will have something like profile slash uh, something like that so this thing right here is nothing but the url and what this urls.py file does is that it actually matches up a particular url with a particular pattern so whenever the user actually types in a url that url actually gets passed to the urls pattern or the urls.py file which contains the url patterns and when it finds a matching pattern uh, with the url it is actually going to redirect us to a new page so that is the function of the urls.py file now let's go to the admin.py file so as you could see this is the admin.py file and what django actually does is that it actually has a cool function of providing us an admin interface that is nothing but if you are hosting a website there is always going to be the main administrator which will be able to have a look at the data or delete the data and do everything like that so this is what the admin.py file is useful for 
and now if we switch back to the apps.py file it actually contains the information about the apps and if you move on to the test.py file it actually contains the code to automatically test your application so we will learn uh, the significance of all the other files but at the moment the most crucial files which you need to understand are the views.py file the models.py file and the urls.py file so these are the files which we will be working with in the upcoming lectures as well and you will understand more about these files in the upcoming lectures so this was the brief intro uh, just to give you guys an idea about what each and every file in this project does so that's it for this lecture and i hope you guys understood the significance of these files present in your books app so we will be soon learning how to use them so what we are going to do in the next lecture is that we are going to create our very own view that is nothing but what actually gets displayed on the web page so you will be able to understand the significance of views.py file in a much more better way so thank you very much for watching and i'll see you guys next time thank you